Hey guys, Silent King here, and welcome to part one of my Batman Arkham City Let's Play. This is my basically a first impressions video. I know I promised you guys a video about is heaven really worth it, and I do want to do that video, but this is my first impressions of Batman. I thought, eh, you know, let's start off with a first impressions video. It's better, but don't worry, this idea is still fresh in my mind. I have to record... Tuesday and Wednesday. I have to record four commentaries tonight because I'm going to be in a hotel with my parents and doing a commentary is a little awkward in front of them. You know, it just, it is. It's the stuff I talk about. So I'm going to be doing four commentaries tonight. One is going to be about first impressions of Batman and just general stuff about the game. He is heaven worth it? Some Another personal commentary about my personal life right now. And then I'm still deciding what the final commentary will be. But there we go, some first impressions of Batman. I was at school today, and so I could not pick it up myself. My mom, she went to, go p she went to pick it up for me. It was all paid off, so it was good. But I didn't get home until 3, like 40, because academic team, I had academic team, so I did pretty well, so I'm happy about that. But I'm getting off the point already, and I wanted to start like this purposely. But, you know, I, I got home and I decided, let's watch two episodes of The Office before we play. So I, I watched two episodes of The Office, and I'm like, I have to play this game now. I stop putting it off. So I decided, okay, let's put this in. And I downloaded the Catwoman pack, obviously. You get that if you buy Arkham City new. If you buy Arkham City used, you do not get to use Catwoman, and this whole entire story is different. So I definitely suggest buying the game new, or you have to spend, like, I think, five, ten bucks to get the Catwoman pack unlocked. I think it's worth it to buy a game new. So, first impressions of the game, I played Arkham Asylum. I never beat Arkham Asylum because, I, honestly, I'm not sure why I never beat Arkham Asylum. It was a really fun game, and that's why I bought Arkham City, because I loved Arkham Asylum so much. But I never finished Arkham Asylum, but it was a definitely a fun game. And you kind of have to know some stuff from Arkham Asylum to play Arkham City. But I'm sure if you went on YouTube, you can go check it out and go find it. But... Again, if you did not play Arkham Asylum, by all means, go play Arkham City. It doesn't matter that much. It really doesn't matter. You'll still get the full experience because of just how well done the game is. And in general, I'm liking Arkham. Arkham City is a really good game right now. The graphics are really good. They're not as good as Rage. They're good. But Rage is a step above them. Most definitely. And I was playing... I have to play on component cables when I'm recording for you guys because... The quality is because well not because of the quality or anything, but for the main fact that HD PVR does not record HDMI. I would have to get a Black Magic. Not gonna do that. So that's why, and the quality compared on component is really really good for Rage and good for Batman. Then I moved my Xbox downstairs to play to do the try commentary with my friends, and I put Rage in. And my God. Rage on HDMI is like a whole different experience. I, I know HDMI is way better, but for you guys, I have to do component. But it's it's amazing how good it looks on HDMI Rage. I haven't tried HDMI Batman yet, but I'll, I'll definitely see how that one looks. So first impressions: the graphics very very good. I mean, they're not the best in the world, but they definitely are nice graphics. And the, but in my opinion, graphics don't define a game. They're definitely very helpful in a game because. Look, back in the NES days and the SNES days, you know, graphics didn't define a game, gameplay could define a game. But in this 21st century where graphics are everything, you know, you know, if your game doesn't have good graphics, you know, not really going to play it. That's just not my, that's not from me, that's from pretty much everybody, everything I've heard, so. We'll see how people uh, perceive this game to be, graphics-wise. I think it's, in my opinion, it's a 9 out of 10. I'm going to do a, nine, a 0 to 10 scale for everything. It's 9 out of 10 on it. Graphics are very good, as you can see. This is Dr. Hugo Strange right here. His facial structure is very, very nice and uh, very interesting, to say the least. Next, we'll talk about the gameplay. Uh, we'll go with storyline because I would like to talk about the gameplay when you're actually seeing gameplay from me. <laughs> Story. I I briefly touched on this at the very beginning of the commentary, but it does take place right after Arkham Asylum. If you did not find out what happened in Arkham Asylum, but the asylum actually got blown up. I'm sure I'm using that in the wrong sense. But yes, the Asylum, Arkham Asylum got blown up by the villains, the comic books, we'll go, we'll go with that. Well, because I don't want to give away too much if people are still playing Arkham Asylum, but that's basically what happened from Arkham Asylum. And so this takes place right after, <laughs> Cap's almost scored, but this takes place right after Arkham Asylum. 
So, it's useful, like I said, to play Arkham Asylum, but not necessary. It does explain pretty much everything. So, back to the point. Storyline. Basically, what I've seen so far, I've played about two, two and a half hours worth of Arkham so far. And I'm not going to be able to play for a few more days because, like I said, I'm going to be in Ohio. But, as of right now, the story is developing very nicely. Yeah, it's developing very nicely so far, the story. There's a bunch of side missions and stuff that you can do. And I was watching the IGN review, and they didn't like it, but I think it adds to it. Uh, you meet... You actually meet the Penguin in a few minutes here. Uh, you meet Two-Face. You have Catwoman, like I showed you. You have... Oh, damn, there's a bunch of other guys that you see. Just a bunch of random villains from the Batman universe, and you can go do side missions and stuff like that. I think it adds to it. It doesn't really define the story as much, but it definitely gives the game replay value. He goes, excuse me, if you didn't do the side missions the first time through, first time through the story, you can definitely do them afterward and still have replay value, but let's put it this way. This game's going to have basically a week to two week shelf life, because guess what comes out next week? Uh, Battlefield 3 comes out two weeks after that, Marvel 3 comes out. So basically, in my honest opinion, yes, this game's very good, it's going to have a very, very small shelf life, just like Rage had a very, very small shelf life. You're going to see this in the bargain bin in two months. I'm calling it as I see it. <laughs> but the story so far, very, very good story. I definitely like how it's developing. You see the Joker. You see, uh, what's her face? The Joker's assistant. God, I, I can't think of any of the Batman. Uh, Harley Quinn. There you go. Harley Quinn you meet early on in the game. And the story is developing very, very, very nicely. And you'll see what happens. But, as of, oh, here here we go. Now we'll talk about the gameplay. I'll, t I'll touch back on story mode in a minute. As you can see, the basic controls of gameplay in the Batman game is Y is to counter, X is to strike your foe or opponent, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't care. And that's really it. Those are the only two main moves you have in combat are counter and strike. And you obviously have the combos that you saw in the beginning with uh, Catwoman. You saw me getting combos off, like 10 in a row, 12 in a row, so on and so forth. And those add to your XP bonus, I believe, that you get after each fight. So it's a leveling up system. It's, it's, a, it's an RPG, so th there you have a leveling up system. But the combat is very simple, but it's very, very nice. And you level up your suit, you level up your strikes and stuff like that. It's very, very nice to gameplay. Then you also have your rooftop climbing and stuff like that. It's a little sluggish if you ask me. Like it's hard to actually get up on some place where you want to be. Then like jumps down for you. It's, it's, it's annoying, I'll say. But the gliding is done perfectly. I love how you glide. When you grapple stuff, the grappling is perfect also. I mean a little tweaks here and there could have been nice. But like all games, they have to be rushed out. And by the way, there's a patch that came out on day one like all games. So I'm not sure what the patch is for. But, if you do know, well, there you go, you have a patch day one that you have to download. Five seconds. But there you go, that's gameplay basically. I give the gameplay... I would give the gameplay an 8.5 out of 10, to be perfectly honest, because... For the, for the only reason is rooftops and stuff like that is a little sluggish, in my opinion. If you play, you'll see what I mean. But that's just my opinion. It's a, it's a little bit sluggish, but the uh, fighting animations are very good, so overall, 8.5. Back to storyline. Story's developing very nicely. As you can see, the penguins cowering in fear over there. But as you see this Let's Play going, you'll see more story mode. You'll see uh, more from the story. And there you go. So the story, I think, gets a 9. That'll either go up or it will go down as my playthrough progresses. And you guys will be able to decide for yourself. And those are the three main categories, in my opinion, for any video game. The gameplay, how it is, the graphics, how they are, and how the story is. In, in an RPG. And let's just talk about the RPG factors. The leveling up system, it's not meant to be a pure RPG, but it has RPG factors. So, I would like them to go more deep if they're trying to make it an RPG, or if you're not trying to make it an RPG, just eliminate it altogether. So, the game suffers a little bit in my book. This is just my book, a little from that, because of how they're trying to go one way, but they're not trying to go all the way there, and it's, it's, it's annoying. So overall, I give the game an 8.7 out of 10. That score can either go up or it can go down as I develop through the game. Maybe the RPG elements will increase, maybe the story will get better, maybe the story will get worse. We'll see, and I'll give you guys an updated review after I play through the game some more. So guys, I'm Silent Kink. I hope you enjoyed this Tuesday, October 18th video. And the uh, Heaven is Heaven Worth It video is going to be up tomorrow on Wednesday, October 19th. I'm Silent Kink. I'm signing out. I'm hoping I'm enjoying Ohio when you guys see this. Peace, guys.